Governor Cuomo and New York senators in Washington are speaking out tonight against President Trump's latest Supreme Court nominee. President Trump says the 53-year-old Riel graduate and appeals court judge Brett Kavanaugh has impeccable credentials. But critics, including many Democrats in the U.S. Senate, are concerned about Kavanaugh's conservative record and what it could mean for health care abortion rights, and much more. U.S. Senators Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand both blasted Kavanaugh today. For every American who cares about women's health, about protections for people with pre-existing conditions, about civil rights, labor rights, LGBTQ rights, environmental rights, now is the time to fight. If this judge is confirmed by the Senate, the Supreme Court to take away women's reproductive rights. If this judge is confirmed, the Supreme Court to tell employers that they don't have to provide birth control to their workers. We know where Brett Kavanaugh stands on this issue. Democrats would need help from moderate Republicans in the Senate, such as Susan Collins of Maine, in order to quash the nomination. But Vice President Pence says the goal is to have him confirmed and sworn in by October. Meanwhile, Governor Cuomo signed an executive order today in Yonkers directing state officials to protect women's access to contraception. Cuomo said that his order was necessary in light of Kavanaugh's nomination and what the governor calls the threat to legal abortion. You have to prove this is a pro-life justice who, I believe, there's no question, will overturn Roe v. Wade the first chance they get. Now, in the meantime, we're going to do everything we can. I'm going to sign an executive order that protects a woman's right to contraception in the state of New York, despite any insurance company or bureaucracy. The governor said his order was an interim measure while New York officials worked to enshrine access to contraceptives and abortion in state law.